Welcome to the Jetty Wolf Kitchen at 5 a.m. in the morning. I'm still sitting here slurping some coffee. And today I am going offshore on a friend's boat who actually is a YouTube viewer when he gets a chance. He works a lot. And I'm going out with him and his son to just go play. And all I'm going to do is take my Jigging Master Level Wind Lever Drag on a Jigging Ugly Stick. And that's it. So I'll see you when we're on the boat. Here we go. And the whole thing is, we're gonna be jigging some lures and stuff like that, and I'm gonna see how this thing works. I have never been on a boat with one of these trolling motors. I was on one, but the guy didn't know how to operate it. So we're gonna be parking right on top of this stuff. Because Mike, there he is. He's got this Rodan, so. We're going to try it out. See you when we get there. All right, first fish of the morning on a jig and an avet and an ugly stick. All right, all right, all right. That'll be free cut bait. Come on. <laughs> Oh, hey, somebody just came up over there. I don't know what that was. Um, oh, here. Oh, yeah. Here they are. The, the damn spade fish are everywhere. Is that what that is? Yep. Spades. Yeah, I think. Try to. You could snag them. There he is. I don't know if you could see them. Oh, my God. They're everywhere. I love those things. Because they're, that's what I want to shoot with my bow. <laughs> Why didn't you bring your bow, Dave? I know, I didn't even think of it. All right, Dave's, Dave's first fish on the uh, steel shad. Ruby lip grunt. I snagged him. A lot better than a kitty cat at the boat ramp. <laughs> All right, my second fish on the, on the steel shad. A small sea bass hooked right through the eyeball. He came over to look at it, and then my big mustad hooks snagged his ass. Hey, guess what I got? I got me a snaker head. Does everybody know what a snaker head is? He looks like a cobia, but he's not. Yeah, he does. It's a cobia with a with a Nike on top of his head. Here we go. I'm flipping him in the boat. Mr. Snaker. Did he, did he, did he hit your... Actually, he hit it, and I, he looked like he was snagged at first. All right. Have you ever tried one, Dave, to eat it? I've never eaten one. I'm almost tempted because the guy said... Hey, if you've got a box, I would just throw them in it. <laughs> we got a cooler, and I mean, all my, all my fish boxes got life jackets and shit that I can, I can remaneuver. Oh. Well... We need to put them on ice, though, so we can just put them in there with a... The, you want to try I that, mean, more? Big, big, oh wow, he came, Palm Beach release, he came right off. Okay, let me show everybody the sneaker head here. Mr. Sneakerhead. See, now he's, he's, he's trying to suck to the deck, see. He's a shark sucker. Well, and look at, look at, I can't pull him off the deck. He is sucked on there like one of them suction cups. Here, look at now. I got my finger underneath of it. I've seen people put them on them, on their backs. Oh, I took one one time and stuck it on a friend of mine's shirt, uh -huh. and he walked around with it for like 30 minutes. And he's like, "What's on my shoulder?" And I said, "Sneaker head, little baby one at the jetties." See that right there? That turns in that that's like the bottom of a sneaker. Uh huh. It is. And he sucks on the on sharks. I wonder if there's a couple fillets on them though. Oh, I'm sure there is. Hey, since everything has a limit and these don't, 
suck on that, dude. Yeah. See, now I want to explain to everybody. See this red rod that Mike's using? If anybody recognizes that from the jetties, when I was catching red bass on it, I sold it to Mike because he's going to get a lot more fun and use out of it out here. He's, he's an offshore guy. I'm a jetty guy. <laughs> Love the offshore. And if he can get something good on this little red rod, it's an extra, extra, ultra light. So. Extremely light. We're waiting for him to get nailed with that thing. I think the, the, jig, the jig weighs more than that. It's up to a hundred gram jig. So if that is too much, if that's more than a hundred grams. I think it is, Dave. Yeah. Man, that's better than a sharp stick in the eye any day. That actually, that actually is another good. another jack on the jig. Yeah. And the ugly stick at Abbott. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. I think I'm switching. Oh my gosh. I think it's a snapper. Look at Mike. Look at him on the damn red rod. <laughs> extra, extra, oh, ultra light. Hold on, red rod. He's got a bucktail with some squid on it. Oh, another one, a red snapper. Red snapper. It felt, it felt like a snapper. There you go. Bring him on over. There we go. It felt like a snapper. Is that fun or is that fun? Yeah. I, I, His first fish. On the on the red stick. On the ocean fire by Jigging okay. Master. The Jigging Master. We're all Jigging Master. And guess now. what? I'm going to a jig too because I haven't been getting nothing on my other one. But I'm going to cheat. I'm not going to put bait on my jig. I want, I want to go naked. All right, red snapper. So we know they're down there. Oh man, we just went over a pile of fish. A whole pile of fish. Come here. All right, I'm switching. All right, I used my big old flutter spoon, eight inches, three and a half ounces here with double hooks. I didn't have no luck, go figure. So I'm going back to my steel shad. The other guys are, they gave up and they're on bait. They're using bait. <laughs> I'm not going to give up. I'm going to stay with the program. Ah. Gaining on a little bit? Yeah. All right. Oh, he just popped everything. God dang. Live blue runner. Put him on a kingfish rig. And he got instantly eaten. Oh. Oh, let's see what we come back with. I needed a rod holder right here and had to do the wicked tuna on this other bitch. <laughs> but then again, the damn, a little kingfish rig ain't gonna hold on a wicked tuna fight. That was something huge. Not with teeth. Broke it all. Not with teeth. Look at the end. Wow. Right up in it. Look at that schnazzle. Yep. Look at that schnazzle. That is exactly too toothy. Uh, Alright, sea bass on the. On the steel shad, we're just picking and poking on them. Maybe that thing before you throw it back, okay? Oh, Mike thinks this is a 13-inch keeper, and I'm saying I've caught bigger ones at the jetties. All righty, Mike's having a who let them dogs out moment. Who let them dogs out? He's getting his butt handed to him. Get on him! Oh, you might have to tighten the drag even more. Yeah, you haven't seen the boat yet. <laughs> live grunt. And I just said, eh, I don't like live grunts. <laughs> Sharks like live grunts. Yeah. Well, hopefully it ain't a shark. Kind of, oh, kind of. Hopefully it's just a, you know, a nice 30 to 32 uh, pound Kobe or something. Oh. That would be nice. Wouldn't it? I didn't think about that. It feels like, I mean. Oh, that, that was maybe a shark then. <laughs> it had a steel leader on it. No, this one didn't. Oh, it didn't? Did it? Yeah, it should have. Did you put a steel leader on it? It was a steel leader with a with a 6 ot bust ad. I'll be damned. And look what came back. What came back? Broke wire. Mm. The wire snapped. There we go, folks. Did you do Perfectly it? straight wire. Did you put a, and I had a single twist on that? A 
Yeah, haywire twist. I'll be darned. Yeah. Hey, let me tell you how good my shark rigs are. We brought in a shark sideways the other day, wicked tuna style. And all the guys on my boat went, man, your knots are good. And I said, hell yeah, they're good. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, 40 pound? Uh, 45, something. I, I think it's still biting for the shark. Well, it's the next morning. God, how I hate weekends in the summer. This place is a ungodly zoo at the boat ramp. Alrighty, we be trolling, starting out about six miles. Got my group up front, trolling the bonita bellies. Alright, what is that? Fish. That's why I told you about those teeth. Do not oh, let is, your ankle get near that summer. This is what we were looking for. Target right? species now in the boat. Yeah, look at this bag. What is this called? Somebody nailed it. Yeah. Somebody what is it called? It. King Mackerel. Oh, that is a King Mackerel. Oh, wow. Dude, that's a good fish. Oh, okay, yeah, bro. Let's go. Oh, oh. oh. Dude, yes. 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 We got dinner. Dude, we're going to take yeah. the guy. How long will it take for him to die? Boy, boy, you're a mor morbid gal, ain't you? Yeah, I'm, a bitch, I'm, a bitch, I'm pescatarian, or I mean, I'm, I'm a vegan. Uh, ah. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's my brand new kingfish rig with a strip bait that is now gone. I was using a bonita belly. And he ain't going nowhere. Because that, he is lip latched like there's no tomorrow. So you never know how they're caught, but let me tell you, this dude was not getting away. Video, dude. No, it's just us driving in a car. Okay. All right, don't forget me trauma, bro. <laughs> don't forget me trauma. All right, who is the angler? Put your rod in the rod holder. Come on back here for a picture. Hey, I moved to Florida just to catch this here fish. Yeah. I moved all the way here just to catch this fish. I wanna go fishing, cause it takes my stress away. I wanna go fishing, try and cast my blues away.